Hi, this is Dr. Deepa Squally, and of course, I'm a doctor. So being a doctor, I have heard my fair share of stories about horrible Botox injections. So I'm here to tell you about the three worst ways that I think a patient should get a Botox injection. I would say first and foremost would be a Botox party. I know they're really, really popular and people are doing them all the time, but just think about the scenario. You're at somebody's house, there are 25 people or so there, everybody's drinking, chatting, and next thing you know, a doctor shows up, and that doctor is given the job of injecting about 25 people with Botox. Not enough time to really ask people what they want or what they're looking for, not enough time to really find out what their medical problems are, and this doctor is just injecting away. So in my opinion, this is not the best environment to get a Botox injection, especially when alcohol is involved. So I get asked all the time to do these Botox parties and my answer is the same every single time. No thank you, I'll just do my Botox in a professional environment like my office, where I know that I have the proper staff, I know that I'm able to take the proper time with the patients, and I'm able to inject it in a nice, clean, safe environment with the proper policies and procedures. Now the second worst way I have to say is when a doctor comes in, doesn't even talk to you, and starts whipping out the needle and injecting you. I've heard this so many times and I cannot believe that people actually subject themselves to something like this. When you're having a Botox procedure done, you need to make sure that that doctor talks to you, understands your medical history, understands what you're looking for, and then starts to inject. That's the right way to have things done. Now I have to say the last one that I always hear is people basing their decision on price alone. And I understand that people have a budget to stay within, but really whenever these Botox prices are so low, you've got to wonder a couple of things. Sometimes Botox is extremely diluted because I've seen patients that come in after one of these really good deals and Botox didn't even work. It's not that it didn't work, it might have just been too dilute. The other problem is with these really low prices, a lot of times they're just seeing a lot of patients. So I think it really just depends what you're looking for. I think Botox should be a reasonable price. If the price is way too low, I think you've got to wonder what's going on. And I know if you're like me, I really care about the way my face looks, so I don't want to have some untoward effect from Botox because it can't be removed and you just have to wait three or four months till it wears off. So this is Dr. Dee Squally telling you guys how, which were the worst ways to get Botox injections. Hope that helped you and uh, keep watching for more tips.